Yes, so I'm going to do a breakdown of the chords of this song. It's called Adonai by Nathaniel Bassey. Forgive me for my cold. I really have a cold, but I'm going to uh, get through this. So I'm in the key of F sharp, okay? Um, if you're not familiar with this key, that is the key of F sharp, that is the scale. F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, or uh, uh, F, then F sharp, okay? So the progression of this song uh, begins from the sixth chord. So it's just the six on the left, okay? Now, remember chord number six in the key of F sharp is D sharp minor. So I'll be moving between the five, the six and the five, the six, the five, the D sharp minor to the C sharp major. D sharp minor, C sharp major, D sharp minor, C sharp major. So I'm just playing with the inversions. Six, D sharp minor, five, C sharp major, six, D sharp minor in this inversion, then five, C sharp major. All this time my left hand is on the six, which is D sharp. So, so there's just a chord here I threw in. It's a two chord, a G sharp minor inverted. Okay, G sharp minor is chord number two. I'm playing the first inversion. So the movement is just from the six to the five. So six, six, five, six, six, two. Five. In terms of the chords, D sharp minor, D sharp minor, C sharp major, D sharp minor, D sharp minor, G sharp minor, C sharp major. So, uh, so what I'm doing is just to try to imitate the progression. So this song is done by Nathaniel Bassey. If you have not heard the original song, just search for Adonai by Nathaniel Bassey. Then you'll listen to the song. It's a very popular song, okay? So. And then. We'll play number four. B major, chord number four. And then throw in the one. F sharp, and then the five, C sharp major, ah, and then the melody. The melody lands you on the six, the D sharp minor. This time I'm using the first inversion. So, ah, so again, just from the beginning, huh? Ah, If you are still struggling with the basics on the key of F sharp, I encourage you to consider ordering my full length F sharp course. I trans for over five hours. Uh, you can get in touch with me on email or WhatsApp, and I can guide you on how you can order the full F sharp course that will take you through the basics uh, just to help you get here if you're still just at the basic, you know, beginning level and you don't understand the language you're talking about. You'll have to start with the uh, basics. So, uh, get in touch with me on email or WhatsApp. You'll find them in the description below the video. I'll guide you on how you can order the full F sharp course so that you can be able to understand what you're talking about here. Okay. So we have done the first part of the song. Yeah. Ah, and then the next part from the rising of the sun.
So from the rising of the sun, it's just a movement from the one to the four, then back to the one. From the rising of the sun. But now what you have to look at is the voicings we are using. So for the one chord, we are not just playing F sharp, we are playing F sharp dominant seven, okay? So F sharp major is just C sharp, F sharp, and B flat, okay? The, the second inversion. If I want the F sharp dominant seventh chord, you know that you now have to add the E. You add the E note to the F sharp major to get F sharp dominant seventh. So I can play this in any inversion of F sharp, okay? Any inversion, F sharp dominant seventh. So I can use this inversion. And on the left hand, I'm playing F sharp, C sharp, and E, okay? From, then look at my melody. From the rising. Then chord number four. Rising. Chord number four. My left hand is playing the four. B, F sharp, and B. My right hand is playing B major seven. So it's the four, yes but as a major seven, okay? Now, traditionally, the four chord is B major. If you want the seventh, you add that A sharp on top. Huh? So I'm just playing this inversion. So it's from the F sharp dominant seventh. From the rising to that B major seven. Now you can play it without the B on the right hand because it's already covered on the left. So it's called a rootlet, rootless chord voicing so that you have F sharp, A sharp and D sharp without the B because the B is already covered on the left. So it also helps us to reduce this tension. The chord sounds more open. Rootless chord voicings. Yeah. Okay. So Then back to the one. Okay. <clears throat> so if you look at how I'm playing my chords, there's uh, a structure to it. Huh? So like for example, I'm playing my one chord. I'm playing F sharp, C sharp, and I'm crushing these two notes together, G sharp and A sharp. And my right hand is playing all those notes. Huh? It's just voicing techniques. Huh? to make the chord sounds more full, okay? So, from the rising of the sun and then to the setting to the setting Then we move to the sixth chord. The sixth chord usually is just the D sharp minor seven, but look at my voicings. The left yes is playing the D sharp, a sharp and then I'm doing an F sharp then my right hand is just playing something like an F sharp sus 2 chord F sharp A sharp and C sharp that is my six okay so instead of playing it like that you just have played it the normal six the D sharp minor but now this makes it just sound better okay so from the rising. From the, of the sun to the setting. Six. Of the sun. Then to the five chord, C sharp major. And then the next part. Uh, your name, your name is to be. So we are moving to the two. We are going to chord number two, which is G sharp minor. It's just an inversion. Chord number two, G sharp minor. But there's a passing chord that we are using here, okay? D sharp dominant seventh chord. D sharp major, that is D sharp G, A sharp, with, an, with a C sharp at the bottom. Okay, this is D sharp dominant seventh with 
D sharp and G on the left. So that's our passing chord to our two. G sharp minor. Your name is to be alone. Six. Six. D sharp minor. Alone, alone. Inversions. D sharp minor. D sharp minor. So. Your name is to be alone. Okay. And then. Four, B major, five, C sharp major, six, G sharp minor. Remember I said if you if you find that you're still struggling to see the basic chords that I'm talking about, uh, order the full F sharp course, the intermediate course. It will help you to at least bring you to the level where you can understand the musical terminology. Okay, so let me play from the top. Huh? Uh, Yeah, so remember, please subscribe to my channel if you've never subscribed. I post lessons here frequently so that you don't miss out on anything. If you want to learn more from me, get in touch with me on my email or WhatsApp. I have several video courses and resources that you can order from me to help you learn and advance to another level. We can also do one-on-one -on -one online piano lessons through video call and all that. So let's get in touch. God bless you. I'll see you in the next class.